the innovative aircraft manufacturer produces technologically advanced aircraft to serve a demanding marketplace. Technologically advanced aircraft incorporate complex systems to make them safe, reliable, efficient, and comfortable. The aircraft systems are normally controlled and monitored by one or more independent computers. The computers are equipped with built-in test equipment. B I T E. The built-in test equipment monitors the condition of the system and transmits the data to the aircraft central maintenance computer, CMC, or to the centralized fault display interface unit, CF. D I U. The centralized fault display interface unit is installed in the single aisle aircraft. The central maintenance computer is installed in the wide body aircraft. The systems perform identical functions. Roger Tower, Air One clear to land, runway 27 right. Let's go ahead and start the APU prior to landing. Roger, I'll perform a fire warning test before starting the APU. Due to their operating environment and safety requirements, an aircraft may experience an occasional system fault or abnormal operation. The ECAM system indicates an auto shutdown. Roger, acknowledged. Uh, go ahead and do the ECAM action and we'll notify maintenance control uh, after we land. All right, master switch off. The system computers transmit fault data to the central maintenance computer or to the centralized fault display interface unit, which generates the post-flight report. The system fault is recorded in the aircraft logbook. The post-flight report is available after the aircraft lands. Maintenance control, Air One. We're on the ground and we have an in-op APU. Parking engine shutdown checklist is complete and maintenance has been informed of the APU and operative. Thanks. I hope that maintenance can correct the problem so that we can depart on time for the next leg. Because airline companies often operate in a crowded and competitive market, the turnaround time between flight legs is minimal. The time must be used efficiently to prevent delayed or canceled flights due to system faults or abnormal operations. Delays and cancellations can be minimized by utilizing proper troubleshooting techniques and the efficient use of the aircraft maintenance documents. The documents include the troubleshooting manual, the aircraft maintenance manual, the aircraft schematic manual, the aircraft wiring list, the aircraft wiring manual, and the Illustrated Parts Catalog. The troubleshooting procedure begins with a logbook entry or a post-flight report. The post-flight report data is presented in two different formats. The wide body aircraft data is displayed in a horizontal format. The post flight report data for the single aisle aircraft is printed in a vertical format. The post flight report identifies the aircraft and flight number. The fault data includes the cockpit effects which identifies the ECAM warning and the troubleshooting manual entry reference, the universal time coordinated and the flight phase in which the fault occurred, and the faults which were detected by the central maintenance system computer. The CMS fault data includes the maintenance manual reference,
the line replaceable unit and its functional item number, and the system component which generated the fault message. Additional systems that may have detected the fault or may be affected by it are listed as identifiers. The post-flight report may list a cockpit effect and no associated fault data. A cockpit effect with associated fault data. or fault data with no associated cockpit effect. The troubleshooting procedure for the single aisle aircraft is identical to that of the wide body aircraft. The ground engineer retrieves the post flight report from the aircraft printer to begin the troubleshooting procedure. The post-flight report contains data from the central maintenance system or the centralized fault display interface unit, which will assist the engineer in identifying and isolating system faults. The fault data is compared with a pilot logbook report. Fault data history may be obtained from the affected system computer through the use of the MCDU CMS data link system. The entry point into the troubleshooting manual may be determined by an ECAM warning, a fault message generated by the central maintenance computer or by the centralized fault display interface unit, local warnings or observations by the flight crew or by maintenance engineers, or by an in-op system or maintenance status ECAM display. The ECAM warnings, CMS fault messages, observations and status messages are listed in their respective troubleshooting manual index. The index directs the engineer to the fault symptoms sections located in page block 101 of the relevant aircraft system. Page block 101 ECAM section contains the list of ECAM warnings, identifies the source of fault messages and correlates ECAM warnings with associated CMS fault messages. The suspect failed components are listed and identified by their functional item number. The ATA reference number represents the maintenance manual reference for removal and replacement of the failed component and the illustrated parts catalog reference for identifying replacement parts. Default class or level may be a 1, 2, or 3. Default class may determine the dispatch status of the aircraft. Default isolation procedure column includes the troubleshooting manual reference and page number and the fault isolation procedure task number. Default isolation procedure and task number are found in page block 200 of the troubleshooting manual. This section contains a list of possible causes for the failure, job setup information, default confirmation procedure, and default isolation procedure. The procedure may require a test of a system or line replaceable unit. If a test is required, the result is used to determine the next step in the troubleshooting procedure. If the test indicates that an LRU has failed, it is replaced in compliance with the aircraft maintenance manual.
The Job Setup Information section of the Troubleshooting Manual includes a list of the tasks necessary to complete the removal, installation, and the test of the line replaceable unit or the system. If the test results indicate a failure, the additional fault isolation procedures listed in the Troubleshooting Manual will be accomplished. If the test is satisfactory, the aircraft can be returned to service. The completed task is recorded in the aircraft logbook. Conventional use of the troubleshooting documents requires the engineer to leave the aircraft to consult the individual manuals, microfiche, or maintenance tapes. Airbus Industries has developed a computer-assisted aircraft troubleshooting program. C A A T S. The CATS program may be customized to the Airbus aircraft in the customer's fleet. The aircraft maintenance documents are stored on computer disks. The data can be retrieved through the use of a laptop computer. CATS reduces the amount of time used to review the individual documents. The portability of the laptop computer provides the ground engineer with access to the manuals and documents required to troubleshoot test, and to identify a failed system component or line replaceable unit while on board the aircraft. The CATS program allows the ground engineer to perform the troubleshooting procedure more efficiently than by the conventional method. By utilizing proper troubleshooting techniques and the efficient use of the aircraft maintenance documents, either by the conventional method or by the CATS program, the aircraft can be repaired and dispatched without delay. The APU discrepancy has been corrected and noted in the logbook. Great, it looks like we can depart on time after all. Sky 7, position and hold. Trans East, taxi runway 9 left. Air 1, clear for takeoff. Contact departure control. Frequency change approved.